Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I've been getting asked a lot if I could compare the mounts. I have been holding off doing this video as I want to do it closer to release day of the week 92 patch as the Tyrannus mount has been changed a bit over the week. So I didn't want to give you a video comparing them when as we got close at the release day of the patch stuff changes it happens all the time so today we've only got one day to go before the week 92 patch is released so we're going to be taking a look and comparing all three mounts now the moa the buffalo and the tyrannus so first of all we're going to be taking a look at the moa so let's go and take a look at the moa the moa has a base health of 702 Stamina 425, movement speed 250, sprint speed 1732, weight capacity of 100 kg, health regen plus 10 per minute, stamina regen plus 3.15 per minute, melee resistance and projectile resistance is both 40, collision and exposure resistance is both 0%. The cargo capacity is only two slots and a more, and it can hold one G slot item like a radar or anything that goes on your back slot basically next up is the buffalo now i am only going to be showing you the buffalo with the basic saddle on to make it a fair comparison i'm not going to be showing you the buffalo harness so let's take a look at the buffalo stats health 1206 stamina 400 movement speed 150 sprint speed 1153 weight carry capacity 300 kg health regen plus 30 per minute stamina regen plus 1.6 per minute melee resistance and projectile resistance both 40 percent collision and exposure both zero percent the cargo capacity for the buffalo with the basic riding saddle is six slots and one g slot item and has a carry capacity of 300 kg. Next up is the Tyrannus. It has health of 1,504, stamina 350, movement speed 200, sprint speed 1,320, weight carry capacity is 200 kg, health regen is plus 10 per minute, stamina regen is 2.1 per minute, melee and projectile resistance is, again is 40%, collision and an exposure resistance is only 0%. So the Tyrannus can only hold 5 items along with 1 G slot item and of course like I've already touched on 200 kg carry weight. So what this means is buffaloes with the basic riding saddle are still the best haulers with one additional carry slot compared to the Tyrannus because that one additional carry slot equates to 100 kg carry weight where the horse only has five slots and that has 200 kg carry weight. If you're still wanting raw speed and you're not bothered about carry weight, the Moa is still by far the more superior mount for getting around the map as the Moa does have a sprint speed of 1732 where the Tyrannus has only 1320. Both the Tyrannus and the Moa have the same stamina regeneration which is 2.1. There you go. One thing to note though, as of the time of recording this video, the Tyrannus has 50 more base stamina than the Moa as the Tyrannus has 350, where the Moa only has 300. Technically, you will stam out faster on the Moa than you would do on the Tyrannus. You still go faster on the Moa than you would do on the Tyrannus. But again, the Tyrannus has the trade-off where it has additional carry weight and slots. And you only can put the Buffalo Pack Harness on the Buffalo nothing's changed regarding that again if you want outright carry capacity the buffalo with the harness or the cart is still the way to go of course your mounts can be vastly improved under the husbandry tree along with a new module for your suit which is called the pheromone module which got introduced in new frontiers it'll give you plus 25 percent tame creature movement speed plus 50 percent tamed creature maximum stamina of course using that module in conjunction with the seed animal feed will be a great addition to your mount and you will get around much quicker as that will give you plus 125 maximum stamina and plus 50% stamina regeneration. And of course, it'll give you plus 100 food when consumed to your mount. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you did find this helpful, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free and it really does help support the channel. As always, I just want to say a massive thank you to my YouTube and Ko-Fi monthly members. And I just want to say a massive welcome to all the new members.